we are going to be looking at another pick from Gourmet Pens for my favorite fountain pen paper. These are the Grafilo notebooks. I'm going to stop doing that. What is Grafilo? Grafilo is made by Kobeha, if hopefully I said that correctly. This is paper for those who like to write big and wet with their fountain pens. It is original paper made just for fountain pens, loved for its comfortable writing experience, clear edges, and beautiful color reproduction. So I have four notebooks here that are new and a filled up one in the back. These are not inexpensive. They are pretty pricey. The basic ones, like these thin A5 ones, they are, you're going to find them for roughly like 15 US, 20 Canadian, if you're lucky, could be more. They have 32 sheets, so they're not very thick, so there's not a whole lot of paper, but it is without a doubt one of my favorites. This one is kind of like the fantasy notebook, if you want to go that way, because it's huge. It's um, like a slim size. And it is basically, you're looking at like 30 to 40 plus US, depending on which one you get, which ruling you get. Um, I have blank here. They are amazing. I haven't used this one yet because I just, I just haven't like gotten to it. But um, I'm going to do some stuff in these. And this is a filled up one that I have already used. Do not judge my stickers. It's fantastic. So I'm going to do some writing and then we can talk about its amazingness, shall we? Beautiful, super portable, really convenient. I mean, it's COVID, so it's not like going anywhere, but I absolutely love the size of these. A5 is one of my favorite sizes. And this one is just amazing. I'm a huge fan of it, even though I haven't used it yet, but I like this, like the general design of it. And it has a blotting sheet. So let's, let's continue our fantasy. So we've got blank, nice, clean, white paper. We have a four millimeter grid and we have eight millimeter lined. These are quite widely spaced and the grid is a little smaller than what you get with Rhodia, which is like five millimeters. And I'm pretty happy with both of them. So why don't we start the lined? Should we do that? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so we're gonna do some writing. Um, it just goes right into the notebook. They lie flat, open really easily, and they are, they have sewn bindings, so they're just, really enjoyable notebooks. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to take off the belly band and we're going to write. So um, let's start with something nice and relatively fine. This is the, I never know what model this is because there's so many of them. Um, first of all, wait. First of all, we are in a Grafilo, this is a five, and just for posterity, it is February 9th, 2021, like day 300 and something of COVID-19. Um, so there's that, just so we know what we're doing, or just so I know what I'm doing. First up, we have the very cute. Oh my god, this paper is just such a dream. Pen BBS. What did I say? 355. I don't really know what it's called, like in terms of finish, but it has a snowflake on the nib. Don't believe me? There it is. Um, it's a pretty fine nib, so maybe like a fine medium. And my ink is... I'm trying to hold this now. Okay, Pilot Blue 
black. Now the interesting thing, very fountain pen friendly paper, not super coated like what you feel with um, Carfontaine and even Tomo A River. It's smooth, but it has a bit of texture and feedback, like just a little bit. And I think it's just such enjoyable paper to write on. Let's hop over to my, um, my fine. Finestro in broad, and the ink is unfortunately a mix of two inks because that's what happened. Diamine Amber plus Pilot Ido Shizuku Suki. Yo, I mean the ink doesn't really matter. We're here for the paper. We're here for the paper, peoples. Let's go over to my... Um, Pilot, is this a custom? Yes, Pilot Custom 823, I never know. Um, Broad, and the ink on this one is Mont Blanc Elixir. It's a ridiculous ink and name, but I like the color and smell. And this is the Wood and Tobacco. Um, I don't, sometimes I write bigger, sometimes I write smaller, but because I have a lot of large nibs, so, uh, sometimes I just write bigger. And this ruling is actually not terrible for me. I don't mind it. Um, if you write really tiny, that's okay. You can do that too. So let's write just small for a second. It's, it, it looks fine. Honestly, you could probably fit three lines in in here um hello because this is not even a needle point hello jello bello ah there we go hello jello actually that's pretty cute cute adorable such wow Okay, so there was really no point to this, except that if you are not someone who likes super broad nibs, you don't have to use super broad nibs. You can have fun with whatever you've got. I just like super broad nibs. Here we have a Moonmin C1 with a Fude nib. And the ink is Sailor. I don't know why I'm randomly doing capitals and not. It's just I'm not really paying attention to the consistency because I'm just enjoying myself. Um, so nice. Okay, there's that. Let's do something nice and broad. This is, you know what you actually, that might not show up that well because I use this for art, artsing. Let's grab my pilots because these are nice and inky. I hope I don't get asked what ink is in these because I honestly don't remember. Um, this one's a little dry, sorry, because I had it sitting for a long time. This is an Opus V8 with a Toronto Pen Company. Parallel mod. This is the shredder. And honestly, I don't remember what ink this is. Like diamine, maybe, um, maybe something. 
Twilight just blended with something else. I, I really don't know. Um, sorry. Does it really matter? No. Does it, does it though? No. Um, next up we have another one. This one was also kind of dried out. Sorry. Um, why am I using these? Because I'm about to make an inky mess, and that's why. Because I want to show you that this paper loves fountain pen ink, and it is meant for it. So this is the... Shredded scroll. Yes, I know this page is a mess. I am testing paper. It's gonna happen. Okay, so there we go. Sorry about the cord. Sorry about my shaking. Um, uh, let me do something tray inky. But before I continue, I just want to show you. No feathering. Look at that. It's got sheen, but it's not overwhelmingly sheeny. There's no smudging of the sheen because it's not so coated that the sheen, like, just floats around on that coating very i mean a small amount of show through but absolutely usable on the back like it's without a doubt you can use the back and it's just such an enjoyable paper to write on like i really i'm really happy with this it's just that they're pricey for the amount of paper you get um let's do um Blooding ink. What we're gonna do is this. I'm gonna just quickly dip. Um, hopefully, I got enough ink. There's really no point to this. I just wanna show you how it handles the ink. So this is a folded nib. It puts a lot of ink down. Um, in, in fact, it's one of my favorites. Um, let's leave that for a second to dry. I put a bit of water in this just so I can do useless things. Okay, let's leave that to dry and then do something horrid on the rest of the page. So I got a bit of water here. Um, someone asked why I'm dipping the brush. I'm dipping it because my hand is still struggling with um, uh, like the shakiness and fatigue. So it's actually hard for me to squeeze the brush and it's just easier for me to dip it. So that's why. Um, yeah, it kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Okay, so that ink is obviously not uh, water resistant. It's like, bye. Okay. So can you paint with it? Like, like color wash? Absolutely. The paper is delightful and I love it. So let's take a bit of this ink. Okay. While this dries, let me do like a, not a full flip through, but like a little bit of a flip through. So this is my full notebook. I have filled it with inky things. It's still, um, you know, it's regular size. Hasn't thickened up significantly. Got some beautiful shading. There's sheen. It's just so clean and such nice paper. Just writing samples, like this is the stuff I do. Let me find something inkier, there you go. 
you matter, you are valued, you are important. Yes, I write positive affirmations to myself. Why not? You are not a burden. Colors come up really nice and clean. I really enjoy these. They make me happy. Um, I find them just, they make the writing experience more pleasant and why not, right? Like why not enjoy what you're doing? Is this paper wasting? Maybe, but maybe to you, that's okay. And it's my notebook and I'm okay with this. How much time did we waste hesitating? Um, I'm, I'm happy. I enjoy this and it makes for really nice, clean pictures. Like if you do your page without anything written on the behind here and take a picture, um, the color comes out really nice because the paper is white and it's just like, there's no fibers and stuff visible in the paper. It's just really, really enjoyable. So, <laughs> I love this one. Um, I abide by both vaccine recommendations and food recalls, but the CDC can pry raw cookie dough out of my cold dead hands. I, yeah, that's also me. I have eaten cookie dough many times and I'm still not. Yeah, well, I don't know if I've gotten sick, but I don't think so. I mean, I don't know if I got sick from that. Um, so yeah, really beautiful paper. Okay, so this is still uh, drying. Should I just dry it? I'm just gonna blot it because um, I don't need all of this ink on here. You get the picture. I'm using a napkin, not the blotting sheet. I know, it's horrendous. So beautiful, the color. So the shading, like the colors come out so nicely. Um, you can totally do artwork. It didn't even bleed through. And um, it's just, I'm just super happy with these notebooks. It's just such a joy to use them. And if you're going to write, why not have it be a huge joy for you, right? So let's wrap this up because you get the picture. It's beautiful. It's amazing. Maybe I should just do one page of fun stuff before I wrap it up. Let's do that. Okay. So um, we're going to just make a little inky mess. So this is what I said. Sorry, I hit the tripod. This is what I meant when I said, uh, <laughs> what I meant when I said there's, this one's used for like arts, artsing. So let's do that and let's get some of this bad boy in there. Get a little bit of darker splatter. I'm gonna do that. And now we can um, mix some of that in. And how about we use the purple? Shall we? Because the purple is very pretty. So what am I gonna write? I'm gonna write my classic line. Is this life-changing? Are these words going to be written in stone and memorialized? No. Does it make me happy in the time that I'm doing it? Yes. And honestly, if you are not having fun with your pens and inks, then what is the point? Am I right? Okay, so fruit flies. And then I can, let's switch it up a little. Switch it up. Um, fruit flies and then gay Z anxiously at the juicy bouncing kumquats. Did I completely disregard the lines? Yes. Why? Because they're not so obstructive that they get in the way. They are just a beautiful little guide and I'm going to ignore them. So that is Another one of my picks for favorite paper for fountain pens. This is the Graffilo. I will put links below so you can check them out if you are curious about this paper and you wanna try it. Have you tried it? I'd love to hear your thoughts. 
If you have a favorite fountain pen paper and if you have any requests for a particular paper, let me know down below. That's all folks. Stay safe. Stay inky. And we will see you next time. Gourmet Pens saying bye.